disappointing me. And I know you gave testimony today. You were just completely heartbroken. So this is not the justice that your family is seeking, right? Amen. What was going through your mind as Isaac Hughes addressed you and your family? Heartbreaking. Disappointing. Emotional. What has been the impact on you? Death. It impacted everybody in the family. Very, it, it was very heartbreaking. We miss him. We love him. And there's nothing that nobody can do to bring him back. Mr. Hughes apologized. Do you accept his apology? Yes, I do. But it doesn't bring my son back. You had a lot of friends and family in Nevada and how it's been this tragic for you to have to lose your son. Why did you obviously felt you had to come to that decision? I lost my son. He doesn't have my future. He's not here to be with his daughter or see anybody. And something that stood out to me is you were telling the judge that Isaac still gets to see his family, but you don't. That's true. Can you elaborate on that, please? My son is gone. I miss him. Every day I miss him. They shot him 26 times. He didn't deserve to die like that. And in court, you mentioned that a just sentence would have been prison time. Yes. There, no matter how much prison time he would have got, or both of them, they still got to see the inner react with their family. And they have a life, and they have a future to come back to. My son don't. And you know the defense argued that Isaac is just not an ordinary uh, defendant because he was the guilty of so he served time uh, at the military. Do you think that's fair? It's not fair. I mean, all they were trying to do is build up his character. You know, nobody deserves to die like my son died. It's 26 bullets. Like, it was an awful scene. And just seeing it playing over and over and over and over and over. They shot him up and threw him out the car like he was a dog. You know, you know like he was trash. They didn't have no feeling for humanity, for another human being. They could have handled it a whole different way. They could have tased him. They could have jimmied the car. They just shot him and killed him for no reason at all. And, and ultimately, this isn't over for your family. There's no. a civil lawsuit that's yes. pending. Yes, for his child. Would you like to elaborate a little more on that? No. Uh, today is very emotional for me. Totally understandable. Do you feel like your family has no justice? No. My son never got no justice at all. It was a joke. It was a joke. Thank you, ma'am. I can give you a testimony from your family. Thank you so much. Thank you. to be by his side, to speak for him, and he can't speak for himself. He was scared to death, and he blew the horn because he wanted help. He wanted somebody to come and save him, and nobody could be there to save him. He was terrified. He knew they were going to shoot him down, and they took his life for no reason at all.